Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're in Milwaukee, we're at the World of Wheels, and with that I met Sam Gonzalez. Sam, good to see you. Good to meet you. And Sam, what did you bring today? Uh, today I brought a 1989 Skyline GTR. Skyline GTR, and I'm not a car I'd expect in Milwaukee, but you told me that there's a bunch of people with Japanese muscle here. Yes, quite a few GTRs. Really? It's going to be uh, imported since they're legal now. Okay, and it looks great. Now this is a, a right-hand drive car. Correct. And how long have you had it? Um, almost three years. Why did you have to have this car? Uh, those Fast and Furious movies growing up, I guess, and <laughs> once I was able to attain one, I went for it. Then that, here we go, let's take a look. Step right alongside me. The Fast and Furious movies, and here's our Japanese muscle. Now, you don't see many of these on the road. Now, tell me about this body kit, because this is not normal in and of itself. This is the body kit that just came out late last year in 2017. It's the Panda body kit. Is it, ca is it carbon fiber? Yes, the hood is okay. carbon fiber hood. Carbon fiber hood. And look at the wonderful cuts in this. The venting, you can see in the back. Let me let people take this car in from the side. Come on back with me. Sam, it's hard to say what side of this car you like best. Um, probably this side because you can tell it's a wide body. Okay, I mean, it's got great stance. Tell me about these rims because we got different rims. First of all, if you look here, I can get about this much of my hand in here, okay? Now you come back here and my whole hand is gone in there. Yeah, they're um, custom three-piece wheels from Heritage, made by 3PieceUSA.com, and uh, I just kind of went with the 18 by 11 wheel squared because it's all-wheel drive, and I didn't want to mess with the all-wheel drive system. I just offset it differently on the offsets to give it a bigger lip in the rear end. So the gas does normally go in here. Yep. And then... Here's our skyline. Now you said something to me I wasn't aware of. Were they were they not letting these cars into the country? Right. There's uh, federal regulations where they had to be at least 25 years old in order to be legal. Really? I did not know that. We got the skyline in there. Tell me what this is for the spoiler. Does this actually function or is this just holding it tight? This is part of that paint and body kit. Okay, so it's just holding it tight. Right. And on this car, we have got the wiper on the back window. The 414 made in Wisconsin. Zilla. Yeah, because they uh, <laughs> called this car out It won like so many races in a row undefeated back when it first debuted. So I think uh, it came from the Australians. I started calling the car Godzilla. Yeah. Now, do you drive this on the street? Yep. What's the reaction when you're driving this on the street? Um, what are the I'm on the wrong the side of the they, street. Really? What do the What do the American muscle guys think? Or they don't get it? I don't think they get it. They don't get it. What are the guys who know when they see it? Uh, then they fall over. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I've even had uh, been pulled over by police officers who I've met and now become friends with who wanted to come and check out the car, so. Really? Yeah. And they, they, uh, I won't ask why they pulled you over. Okay, let's open the door. <laughs> because they love the car. So here we go. Let me just, before you jump in, looking at the design of the door, that's a long door. It's a very long door. It reminds you of like a Camaro from the 70s, Skyline. We've got obviously the instrumentation on the right hand side. Let me show. Now, was the, there is a back seat there. Yeah, there is a back seat. Okay. I just got it covered no, right I, now. No, I got because you. I'm in the process of redoing the interior. Okay. So let me just sit in it for a moment. So we got our pedals here. Obviously, a custom steering wheel. Yeah. But all the gauging is the same. So is the engine all the same, or did you upgrade the engine too? Uh, I bought some parts that ain't on it yet. Otherwise, so far, the only thing I really did was put a different intake on there. There's a downpipe and exhaust. 
Yeah, I saw, I saw you had an exhaust kit on it, that's for sure. But the rest of it is all stock. Uh, pretty much all the gauging is stock, the cluster stock. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Really looks good in here. Let's take a look. Um, there's some writing on there. Sam, this may be the first time you read this writing on here. I'll let the camera pick all that up. It's got a nice little cluster here. I want to show the the uh, hood line, uh, the the interior hood liner. It feels really solid in your car. You know what I mean? It feels comfortable, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of hugs you. Yeah, it does hug you. And it's a good hug. All right, let's take a look under the uh, hood, shall we, before we start it? What is happening here? Is this intake? Yeah, this is the the intake. I was just kind of peeling you're, this you're stuff off, yeah, yeah okay. to repaint it. The so it's usually this wheels. color, but but you're working on it to get it the same color as it is. I'm replacing the whole thing. I already bought a different manifold. Got it. Does this usually come with a bar like this, or no? Uh, that's some an add-on. Do with the option, but that's not the okay. stock one. And I just love all of the details. On the car, I call it the, the fender tag. And what is this? Mm, Some Japanese writing. One. Yeah, there's different tags like that around here. Yeah, let's when just... it was uh, like a, if they did the timing belt for the last oil change, I can't remember that. Yeah, right. We'll have an interpreter tell us all this. Yeah. Let me just uh, so the R. RB26. Yep. That's in the GTRs. That's in the GTRs. Yeah. Now, was there a different GT, like not a GTR? Was there just a Skyline? Yeah, there's a Skyline uh, where you can get them where they're rear wheel drive instead of all wheel drive. This one's all wheel drive. This is GTRs. all wheel drive. Yes. So the all wheel drive is, is a sticking to the ground machine. Yeah. And I see twin turbo, am I correct? Yep. So one here, one there, or one here, one there? They're both side or side by front, side. Front to back, they're behind each other underneath okay. there. I'm learning as you're talking and I'm enjoying it. Look at the hood. You can see the vents in the hood. Well, why don't we uh, prop the hood up and let's hear it start. First of all, I love your car's color. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I walked past it and I was just about to leave the show and I went, no, I think we're doing one more. <laughs> yeah, I definitely love the color. The color, I and mean, we, it's a, uh, it's, it's like a midnight blue and the camera's catching it pretty well off the light here. And then with what you've done off the rims, really nice touches. And uh, even the black accents, just everything blends really well on this car. So it's really a treat. and. Uh, 
I've been looking for a Nissan uh, uh, car like this with, uh, you know, and you've got this wonderful, I want to get that spoiler just right too, so that people can kind of take that in. But it seems like it's, you know, if, if we're in California, maybe we can find a Skyline, maybe Arizona, but it seems like I would have not thought that I'd find it in Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, they're, like I said, now they're legal and they're popping up all over. I, I honestly think there's at least 50 of them here. Is that right? At least. Yeah. At least 50. Wow, I am really surprised. First of all, Sam, fun car. Great time talking with you. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Thanks for being on My Car Story. What a treat. Thank you.